So now let me go to the dashboard. Let me explain you about the dashboard. So we have created one simple dashboard where one simple visual by writing a SQL query. But Databricks has beautifully given some samples here. Dashboard sample gallery. They have two samples. One is on New York taxi trip and other is on the retail revenue supply chain. So you can just click on this. Uh, then from the cloud, your dashboard will be created from this data set. Uh, if you can see, go to the data explorer. Let me just go to the data explorer. And if you can see this sample. So when you get your Databricks account in the data explorer, already you have some sample data sets for you just to practice it. So you will get by default. That is for sure. And you got a NYC taxi data and you got TPCH data. You can see if you just want, you can just start working on it. So with this NYC taxi data, they have created a dashboard. That is what I'm trying to explain. So you can see NYC trip, uh, taxi trip analysis, and they have created a widget also here. You can see beautiful. Suppose I want to see on which pin code. I want to see the details about one pin code. Suppose 10065. Just click on it and just click on apply changes. Okay, let me remove this and apply changes. I'll show you how to create this widget and all those things. And now you can see in a real time, you can do a quick analysis. So this is a card visual and you, you can see your scatter chart, your table and your column charts and all these things here. And even you can get a specific range also like input uh, like uh, range date between this and this. You can do you can set up a timings also you can see this. So now if you might be wondering like how this dashboard is created. So you can just click on this and here you get an option called view query. So you, you click on that view query and you can see this is all the query that is getting uh, behind the scene. So they have used the sample catalog. They have used the case statement when it is a weekend one it is Sunday and when it is seven it is Monday else nothing then end as the day of the week and then they have used a sub query here. Uh, so selecting from your uh, trips data where they have used a pickup and all those things and they have ordered by. So if you, you can see here we got a table also but from table they moved it to a you can see this is your table actually this is your table from this table they created a beautiful visual and your visual looks something like this. You can edit it you can do whatever you want. So let me go back, I guess, go back to my visualization here. You can see your dashboard. So you can just click on this and view a query. So to be very frank, I'm not so good at writing a uh, query for a visual for a result. That's OK. But you can see you got a visual and then you can attach this to your dashboard. OK, you can attach this to a dashboard. And even if you can see some real time analysis, uh, like your data is streaming and if you want to see the quick results in your dashboard, this is the best guys. This is the best. So if you want a fancy reports like, oh, I want some slices. I want to do drag and drop and all those things. Then you have to connect your Lakers to your Power BI. But if you want a simple dashboard, simple reporting, a quick visuals, yes, Databricks SQL got a feature called as a dashboard. It is for you. So let me go to one more tab called alerts. So let me click on alerts. So uh, yes, Databricks gives you an option to create an alert also. Like if you if you have scheduled a requirement based on that requirement, based on that threshold, if it is reached, for example, I want to know if my sales amount has been increased to uh, 1 million I get notification something like that. Yes, you can do that. You can set up an alert So you can just say my my first alert Okay, so you can just take up a query that you have no I want to uh, set up an alert on my first query Yes, your query is loaded here. You can see so I have a gender column and if I want to know that if my gender count uh, or the gender first row uh, if it is greater than five, if I got a gender greater than five or something like that, if my count is greater than five, you can say greater than or equal to five as we have count only of six, I guess. Okay, let me make it 10, 10. 
and then you send me the notification just once or each time it is evaluated until it is back to a normal suppose if you are dealing with any iot data and so on if you are looking at the detail about the temperature so you can just keep on sending the alerts uh, till it gets back to a normal so uh, depending on the use case you can set it or now i'll just notify once if my um, if my count goes above 10 or equal to 10, I should get a notification, send a notification. So you can use a default template or you want, you can just set up a custom detail and say that, hey, hey, your count or your uh, gender count has increased or it has reached to 10. You can do that. Okay. So and refresh. So do you want to refresh this dashboard? every hour or every 10 minutes or every five minutes even you can get an every one minute option also but you need to set up your sql warehouse for that and just click on create a alert so this will create an alert for you so whenever your count goes above the threshold value as 10 it will be thrown a notification to my email address you can add even other people also like suppose maybe i'll add gautami and click on save so she will also get notified once we reach our threshold value so this is how you can set up a beautiful alerts on the data brick sql and you can find that alerts in your workspace again so if i'm not wrong you can see you got your alert you got your dashboard your query your notebook all in one place so this was all about the databricks sql queries sql editor dashboard alerts query history and your sql warehouse so if you are done with all uh, you can just stop your sql warehouse if you are uh, like done with your usage this is about all about the sql warehouse guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you for watching keep learning